Well, it's you know, gobbling out of the news, Nate. You know what the governments of the world haven't been able to keep quiet? What? UFOs are filling the Yorkshire skies and Ooh. police reports. And two, I have the reports from 2021. Ooh, interesting. You know, you know, I sometimes make Yorkshire puddings. What is that? Where it's like black and disgusting? You take each equal parts. Sorry, our, uh, our British listeners. We have a lot. <laughs> we we do respect you as a people. Which is uh which has blood in it, and I don't like it either. I like the white pudding. Um but uh which is like a giant sausage. It's like if some it's like if they took like uh too much oatmeal it's like oatmeal with meat in it <laughs> which does not sound appetizing the most horrible de- description <laughs> of a piece of food they take the blood out and add <laughs> oatmeal in that's oh, how no. it they keep the blood to add it to other stuff yeah 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 you just drink it st- you just drink it straight oh. um so uh <laughs> Yeah, carry on. <laughs> All right. So this week of weird, everyone, Werewolf Radar's news for the totally Fridays. Uh, I'm Roger with Jordan and Nate. Like I said, UFOs filled Yorkshire skies and replace and police reports in 2021. If okay. you like what we do, by the way, give us a five star review on uh, Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, wherever you can. It really helps us. Please, uh, get found by new anything show. less will get you abducted. That's true. They'll come That's for you. That's true. The aliens are out there watching for five, for four star reviews, three star reviews, two. <laughs> Don't put a one star review. Jesus Christ. They will come for more than just you. They they'll will come, come right, for your family. They'll come right through the computer the second you click, click mouse, click. Five star reviews wherever you can. Mm-hmm. And if you really like what we do, check out our Instagram, check out our Twitter. That's where we're most active. Plus, if you feel so kind, check out our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash Werewolf Radar, where you can check out our new merch. It's all Jordan's art on mug, mini Yay, art, and shirt. Mug, mini art, shirt. And you know what? We are judges in a film festival for the paranormal. And new judges gaffle. <laughs> Check out 14filmfestival.com and you can see the various films that are up for judging. It's a really cool festival that will have its awards uh, awarded mm-hmm. September, the beginning of September. I don't know the exact date, but that's coming closer. The point is go to 14filmfestival.com and check out the other judges and the work being done over in England. 14 is what they call paranormal, Jordan says. That is true. It's uh, named after Charles well, Fort. Or just the weird, like high strangeness. Sure, sure. Yes, high strangeness, <laughs> indeed. Um, yeah, Yorkshire puddings, by the way, are equal parts eggs, milk, and flour. And you whisk it up really good, and then you take a muffin tin and you put some oil in the muffin tin and you put that in the oven and at like 350 and you let that get smoking hot, really hot, the oil in there. Then you pull it out, you pour your mixture in, it'll start to fry in those cups. You put it back in the oven for about 20 minutes oof, with some gravy and a roast. Mamma mia, they puff up all big and crispy and gooey. Oh, they're so good. What is English food? <laughs> anyway well it's lots of puddings isn't it anyway ufos oh, are filling, of the uh, rainbow. ufos are filling the english skies um 2001 was a busy year for west yorkshire police due to a high number of ufo reports if you want to read more go to or if you want to read the article go to werewolfradar.com forward slash paranormal news you'll see the you'll see the image so you, I can't speak anymore. So West Yorkshire police are being asked to deal with situations from another world. Throughout 2021, the police of West Yorkshire have received a number of reports about aliens and UFOs. Thanks to a Freedom of Information Act request, the formally redacted logs of the Yorkshire police have been released to the public and show reports from across the region. And now we'll go into the chronological cases that were most interesting of the previous year. 
starting in April 2021. During the month of April, a report from Morley Leeds, I might be pronouncing all the names of these cities wrong. But anyway, that's fine. From Morley Leeds. <laughs> We've already disrespected their cuisine. There's <laughs> Their most sacred institution. We've we've crossed this Rubicon. <laughs> so, uh, re- a report from Morrill was called in about a UFO. The police log reads: Caller is reporting he thinks he has seen a UFO. He could see this thing in the sky that kept appearing, then disappearing. This occurred twenty-two times, where something flashing, then it disappeared. Then it flashed again. He said he watched this happen for approximately 15 minutes. Hmm. Was he seeing a satellite? Yeah, it, it would be a like geocentric it... satellite. That's a that's a that's a big oh, so it's in like... or a solid or a what am I trying to say? A stationary. That's a long time for it to be stationary right, right, right. for okay. a satellite. Because I think the Starlink satellites that people are seeing are moving somewhat fast across the horizon. Hey, up. what's that there? Is that a UFO? Call but it there, in. <laughs> but there are a number of geocentric <laughs> orbiting satellite or geo orbit. I forgot what it's called exactly, but it orbits at the same speed as Earth, so it's stationary. Geostationary. Uh, to cent- yeah, geostationary point to the Earth. So maybe it was, perhaps. In Balden, Bradford, a report stated, caller states that an alien has attacked her. Whoa. There was nothing else to that report. What? Like, it is just that one line in the report, then it moves on. An alien's attacked me! Click. (laughs) Well, log it. Log it. Now let's move. Log it. (laughs) May... 2021 there was only one sighting in may of note in bowling and barkerend bradford a resident reported a number of solid lights that look like stars moving in the sky and has seen up to 14 of these lights moving spaced out evenly and heading northeast seemed to be higher up than some than planes there's an additional note to this from the police. The caller doesn't think they were planes due to the number and that they didn't flicker. Doesn't think it was comets due to the apparent, apparently controlled nature of the movement. White lights from all of these. I mean, this does kind of sound like the RAF has experimental airplanes or something. Oh, I mean, of course they definitely do. Could you imagine them being the only Western uh, major imperialistic country <laughs> without experimental aircraft? Yes, I can. Because <laughs> they have experimental submarines. They got to protect the channel. Got to protect that channel. It's their mo- It's their most valuable resource. July, <laughs> that and puddings of various types. <laughs> Their most valuable resource is France, and they still only have pudding. Block the channel with pudding. It's a trade <laughs> embargo, like in episode one. <laughs> July 2021. In Nottingley, Wakefield, a resident reported multiple orbs in the sky. The log reads, caller reporting white orbs in the sky. Two shot off like shooting star. He's seen some disappear. He has this on video. Hmm. Tried finding video of this. I might have found some, but it gets get. But I, there's so many white orb videos on the Internet. I wasn't sure if this was the exact one from July 2021. Sure. He's seen. Well, also, ten- occasionally, if you just look up white orb, it links to Stormfront. <laughs> so you do have to be careful unfortunately he said he's seen in line you gotta walk out there (laughs) he's seen 10 orbs tonight and they're moving really weird unlike those other nights they move normally 
He can't see them now, but he's seen them last two nights. He's just seen another now, and then there's another. Wait, was he filing this report actively? Apparently, man. That's what the notes read as. <laughs> it was one of those mm. ah moments from Monty mm. Python. Is he ah. writing that? <laughs> August, sure. August 2021. We're now ending summer. Mm-hmm. Halifax had two reports during the month of August. The first only states that the person claims an alien put drugs in his eyes. <laughs> what drugs? Are you going to ask him any follow questions? I mean, to be fair, maybe the person didn't say anything else other than like, I'm reporting that the aliens put drugs in my eyes and I can't nah, say anything drugs else. Eyes, uh, drug eyes, uh. <laughs> that is definitely how it probably sounded. <laughs> I thought. Fo- I don't have to ask any follow-up questions. I have already had an alien put drugs in my eyes. Nice. So. Yeah. In all I, effects, it's such a current a co- current occurrence that is just, yep, I alien will, drug eyes. I haven't been to Burning Man, but I imagine this is the thing that happens there quite often. Hey, man, you want some drugs? <laughs> Bleep gloop. Well, I bet this next part also is reported happening at Burning Man a lot. The second report from Halifax reads, reporting he has seen an alien. He has seen something floating in the sky, talking to him. Okay. It's just this landlord leaning out a window. Yeah, the more, the more I hear these, like, I listen to a lot of, like, paranormal podcasts and stuff, sure. and the more I hear these kind of firsthand re- reports, the more I'm like... Oh, you are have some sort of undiagnosed mental illness <laughs> <laughs> and uh, probably need to be on medication. Or, or they are correct. Or they're correct. Which is unfortunately not as plausible, but there's some plausibility to it. Like maybe mm-hmm. an alien did put drugs in his eyes. That's true. The problem is it was just the one guy was there. He was the only one there to see it. If somebody else was there, I'd like to think they would have intervened. But And you think with, uh, with all the TikToks going mm-hmm. on, there would have been someone's phone, phone pointing at the alien. Mm, yeah, or even, I'll tell you, if an alien was like holding my head and putting drugs in my eyes, I'd be TikToking myself probably. Are you guys saying <laughs> this? Oh no! Oh, stop it! Wait! Oh, that's actually kind of nice. Okay, it's drugs. I'm fine. (laughs) We now enter fall in October. Uh, Well, properly September, but in October, that was the last month for UFO and alien sightings, and there was uh, the most. In Pontefract, a man claimed to have seen seen an alien outside of his window. The report reads, he has rang the police due to believe believing seeing an alien outside his window. Mm-hmm. Halifax. So it's it's very possible that there is a gray alien who is also a DJ and a drug dealer that true, is just true. popping in people's windows. Yeah, DJ abduction. S- selling dro- acid for your Droppers eyes. full of acid. DJ anal probe. <laughs> We go back to Halifax, which seems to be a particular DJ hot spot Zygo in the harvester. <laughs> we go back to Halifax, which seems to be a hot spot in the Yorkshire area mm-hmm. for UFO mm-hmm. and alien sightings. Um, that area continued to have strange sightings with someone reporting to police their theories of humanity. The police report reads male talking about lifesavers and aliens. He has a vision that the queen sent him to another galaxy and people can travel time. Yeah, I mean, that's how uh, Philip died, right? Traveling through time. Mm -hmm. Traveling the time. At uh, at normal speed. (laughs) That's how we all died, Nate. Who's Philip? Did I always know Philip? Was Philip the fourth member of Werewolf Radar? Now I can't remember him because he was clipped yeah. out of the time stream. Yeah, unfortunately, he's gone. Nate, our, he used our, to be a king. 
And he used to be one of our kinks. That's all right. You weren't wearing your time cap. It happens. Remember when I forgot my name? Did I forget anything else? Wait, you are Roget. Yep. Of Roget's Thesaurus. You know what? <laughs> That's close enough. I like that actually better. You go. <laughs> one with lo- Roget. One more, which was once again a short one in Wheatwood. A person met a claim to police that they were abducted by aliens. Just simple. That's all they wrote. Abducted by aliens. The what? The Yorkshire police, the West Yorkshire police, have uh, their information on UFOs all public available for the year 2001 because of that Freedom of Information Act request. Ah. And it is filled with a bunch of these like Yorkshire that area of England seems to be getting hit with UFOs or was getting hit with UFOs last year we'll find out if they're getting hit this year when the 2022 report comes out in the 2024 22 UFOes (laughs) and we just found out that Ireland was being hit Mm -hmm. in a weird flap this Mm -hmm. last year so flap the British Isles uh, Perhaps yeah. a UFO base somewhere nearby? A UFO hotspot. And if you want to read more, uh, also on werewolfradar.com, there's a little side that we're not going to go into uh, because it is relatively lengthy, and we're going to wrap things up. But the story of Alan Godfrey, who in the 1980s saw a UFO and was part of the Zygmunt Adminsk- Adminsk- Adminsky uh mystery where hmm. this uh person was found seemingly dropped on a coal pile from a height of many many feet what and it's suspected oh, you know that it was <laughs> and it was suspected people, that he was constantly dropped. being dropped on coal piles it's it's suspected he was dropped by a ufo onto this coal pile after being injected with a weird strange fluid hmm. So anyway, werewolfradar.com, learn about this Alan Godfrey and his tribulations going public after this weird UFO mystery. He was fucking uh, hunted, not hunted, but stalked by a man from only the mis- the ministry. That's all he said he was from, what? the ministry. <laughs> That indeed, is indeed, right? So yeah. insane. <laughs> anyway, this week of weird werewolf radar, UFOs huh. filled Yorkshire skies and it's police weird, reports in 2021. It's a weird time to be a Yorkshireman, huh? Or a it's Yorkshire one of the a weirdest Yorkshire person. It's one of the weirdest, man. A Yorkshire. I don't know what to do. How are we going to prepare people for this UFO assault? Well, we'll do it the way we've always done it, Roger. We'll make puds. <laughs> You've heard it here Quickly. first. Bung the channel. <laughs> Get your ovens ready. Get your weird mixtures ready for Bung the oven. Bung the channel. <laughs> Bung the channel. <laughs> I've been Roger, joined by Nate and Jordan. On the count of three, we are going to end our episode with our super duper secret sign off line. One, two, three. Suspect the boy. Suspect the boy.